So I recently purchased this Fender Mustang bass, and it's the first brand new bass that I've ever owned. I've actually only had a couple other basses, they were all used, which isn't itself a problem. Sound-wise, I probably prefer older instruments. Certainly that's the case with Fender. But there's something exciting about getting a brand new instrument and getting to put on all the driving miles yourself. If you want to see the unboxing video, there should be a link here, but I'll also put a link in the description. So today I wanted to capture the actual sound of this instrument in its main configurations. So a bit about this bass. This model is the PJ bass. It's got both the P pickups closer to the neck, the J pickups closer to the bridge. You've also got this toggle switch to go back and forth. So you can have the P pickups, the J pickups, or both. And there's the standard volume knob and tone knob. Wow. So at the moment, I've got Tomastic Infel flat wounds on this. I also considered the Labella low tension flats, and I actually have a pair lying around, so I'll probably do a comparison video in the near future. If you want to see a similar one that I did for my P-Bass, you can check that out here. I've also put a link in the description. Ever since putting TIs on my P-Bass for that video, I decided to try them on other instruments. And so far, I'm loving them on this Mustang. That being said, I'm sure it sounds interesting with all different kinds of strings and playing styles, so I'll definitely consider doing some follow-up videos. If there's anything in particular that you'd like to see, let me know in the comments. Lastly, I should mention that this is the player model. There's also the performer model, which is a bit more expensive. I believe it currently retails at $14.99, whereas this one is $8.49. I've heard some people say that the performer has better electronics and nicer fretwork. Maybe. My P-Bass is also a player model, and I'm pretty happy with it. It really depends on what kind of sound you're going for, and it varies so much from instrument to instrument. And at the end of the day, the two biggest factors of how a particular instrument sounds are one, the player, and two, the strings. So that being said, let's take a listen. And actually, even before plugging in, I just want to play a little bit of Unplugged because it sounds pretty incredible. The mic a little bit closer. Thank you. 